Hello again, welcome to another video. Now, in this video, I'm going to be talking about all the different lens types that you can find within photography. So, let's get to it. Okay, so probably the most common lens type that you'll probably find are going to be zoom lenses. Now, these can range from wide angle lenses like this, this is a 25 to 30 millimeter, or a 70 to 300 millimeter lens, which is a kind of a medium telephoto to long telephoto lens. Now, both these lenses are what you would call a variable aperture lens. So, as you zoom from wide to telephoto, the aperture actually changes, so at the widest angle, in this case 70mm, it's an f4 lens, but all the way zoomed in, it's actually an f5.6, so it's actually letting about a stop less light in. Now this isn't usually ideal, because obviously if you're zooming in, let's say you're doing video wide open at f4, if you zoom in all the way to 300, you're actually, your image is going to look darker. So this is usually why you want a fixed aperture lens. Now, fixed aperture lenses are actually usually more expensive, like this L series lens. This is a 24 to 105 f4. So, at 24 millimeters, it can do f4. All the way at 105 millimeters, it can also do f4. This is great for video and it's great for exposure because no matter how much or far you zoom in, you don't have to worry about your exposure changing. But the main advantage of these variable zoom lenses are that as you can probably see from compared to the 24 to 105, they're a lot smaller and usually cheaper because they need less glass. But that's usually the disadvantage of the fixed aperture lenses is that they usually need more glass to let in all of that light. Now onto the next lens type, which are going to be prime lenses. These don't zoom at all, so it's one focal length and one focal length only. But there's a wide range of prime lenses available. This one here is an 85mm lens but you can get 50mm, 24mm, even some fisheye ones are about 11mm prime lenses. Prime lenses usually have better image quality, this is mainly because there's less glass involved. As you can see, an 85mm, it's relatively compact. And the other advantage for prime lenses is they're usually able to let in more light, because this is an f1.8 lens, as you can see here. But that's great because low light shooting, f1.8 lets loads more light compared to, let's say, f4. But usually, prime lenses, you can also get larger focal length. For example, Canon make a 1200mm lens, which... Is there a zoom lens that can ever do 1200mm? No, not at the moment. But obviously, the main advantage of prime lenses is going to be your image quality and general size. But the trade-offs for prime lenses are going to be, well, you can't zoom. You need to, if you need a wider or more telephoto shot, you're going to have to either move away from shade or move closer. Now, onto some lenses that have like more specialty purposes, but I don't have myself. But there are fisheye lenses. These are usually about eight millimeters. These are where um, you have like the circular look, or it's very distorted, which you see a lot of, like skateboard shoes that it usually works for that. But they have a wide variety of creative applications. Now, the next lens I'm going to talk about is going to be a tilt shift lens. If you've ever taken a picture of a building, you may find that it looks like the building's falling away because it's at an angle. A tilt shift lens is actually designed to combat this by basically adjusting the how the light is actually entering the lens and hopefully make the building look like it's, well, straight up. But this also has a lot of other creative applications with it, as it can alter the um, focus plane so you can have like a really shallow depth of field. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that video and found it informative in the various lens types. Make sure you subscribe to my channel for more videos, upload two or three videos each week, and check out some of my more videos. Until then, I'll see you next time. Bye!